How's it going guys? Jerry here and welcome back! I was almost going to introduce this as its own series, but or a new series I should say, but it's not really a new series. It's more of a bringing back of a series because this was a series that I had back on my channel way back when, but it's coming back under a new name. It used to be known as Road to Rank, but it's now going to be under Path to Prestige. And for those of you wondering, yes, this is inspired from Shady Penguin's Road to Rank and Game Boy Luke's to be a Master Series. For those of you that don't know what that was, or what that is, I should say, it's pretty much just ranking up on Battle Spot and seeing how far you can go. And it's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I've done this before in the past, and I haven't had the best luck, but I sort of... I sort of adapted to the metagame a little bit and I know a little bit about competitive battling so I'm just going to test out my luck and we're going to go ahead and look for someone here. Uh, do I want to record? No I don't want to record because I'm already recording so why would I record my videos automatically. Now I am going to mention that I am not a very good competitive battler. I do battle for fun uh, but I never take it very very seriously so when it comes to raiding battles here on Battle Spot, I think I'm going to have to take this a little more seriously. And I hate it because I'm not a very serious competitive battler. So we're going to see exactly how well we do here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and look for a opponent here. We have someone from Tokyo. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I do apologize, but I do know that you are from Tokyo. And um, you're bringing a Lopini, Gyarados, Sylveon, Excadrill, Noivern, and a Sableye. So a lot of potential threats. Actually, your entire team is full of threats. And that scares me. That scares me very, very much. Now, I don't have much for fairy types other than my Aggron. And I don't appreciate Mega Sableye or Sableye for that matter because of Prankster Will-O-Wisp. I don't appreciate that whatsoever. So, um, what I'm going to bring here, I don't have a need for Seismitoad or Suicune. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring my Rotom. I'm going to go ahead and bring Rotom. I'm also going to bring Heracross in case he wants to bring that Sableye in so I can get a potential Guts boost. And I kind of want to bring my Roserade, but at the same time I also want to bring Aggron. But I'm not going to bring Aggron because he does have a Lopunny and I don't appreciate that. Or should I bring Suicune? Yeah, I'm going to bring Suicune in case he brings the Noivern or the uh, the Excadrill because I, I can pretty much, I have, I have coverage for those two Pokemon. Uh, Gyarados will be a problem, but I do have Rotom with Volt Switch. It's actually Specs Volt Switch as opposed to Scarf Volt Switch. So I'm not really sure exactly how well that's going to perform. Uh, other, that, other than that, if I can speak properly, uh, I am a little terrified because I know people from, from Tokyo and from Japan, uh, they take their Pokemon very, very seriously where I am just, you know, sort of adapting to the metagame. So it's going to be a little complicated. I might lose here and there, but I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, like I said, I'm learning. The more I battle, the more I learn, so. This guy's taking quite a while. If you can hurry, that would be appreciated, buddy. It's almost as worse as Pokemon Showdown. <laughs> Looks like he's having a little, uh, a wedlock type of thing. Alright, here we go. I'm very afraid. <laughs> Alright, so who are you going to lead off with? Oh my god, is it lagging? I know it's not my connection, because I have pretty good internet, so... He's gonna go ahead and lead off with the... With the Noivern. Okay, so I kind of just want to go ahead and Volt Switch. Now he knows I'm Spexed. So he's gonna go probably for a Draco Meteor. He's probably gonna go for a Draco Meteor. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and Volt Switch here. Because I'm not gonna outspeed. And he has no reason not to go for a Draco. There it is. And I'm not going to appreciate that. He might be Specs as well. Uh, I don't know if that was Specs or not. I don't know if that was Specs or not. I really can't judge from here. But I lost the one stop I had to Gyarados. So if he has Gyarados, I'm in deep trouble. <laughs> Obviously, if it's the Mega Gyarados, I really don't care. Because I do have Heracross with Mega Horn and Close Combat. So that's not too... Uh, that's not a big deal because I do have a stop to Mega Gyarados. And I also have a stop to Lopunny in uh, in the form of Heracross because I am Scarfed. So I can go ahead and just close combat that thing. He's going to go ahead and go out into Exegel. I don't know why because I could have gone for a Scald. And I doubt this thing is uh, Scarfed. Or not Scarfed, but Sash, I should say. 
Uh, if it's Scarf, that'll be interesting. Now, I'm pretty sure he's going to outspeed because Excadrill, regardless of being a Steel type, is pretty fast. Horn Drill, and I avoid it, thankfully. I don't even know why he's running that. That's a uh, very... Wow, it's very, very bulky. Oh, my lord. Is he going to go for Horn Drill going? He is, and he's not going to connect. So, thankfully, he missed both of his Horn Drills. That would have been very, very bad. Um... I kind of don't agree on him sacking off his Excadrill because Excadrill is a very heavy hitter. So I kind of don't agree with that. Outcome Sableye, uh, I don't appreciate this at all. You know what, as a matter of fact, I have no reason not to go for a Tailwind. Hmm. Uh, I think it's a little too early to go for a Tailwind now. I'll go for it whenever I know I'm going to go down. So he's going to go out. Into, well, he's not going to go out, but he's going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. So it's the Mega Sableye. Uh, now, I love Sableye. Sableye is actually my favorite Pokemon, but I don't like when it's used against me. And he's go. <laughs> he's going to go ahead and set up a Calm Mind. Not really what I like. I don't like seeing this. So he's going to eat, eat up the Skull. If I can speak correctly, that would be very, very appreciated. Can I get the burn? I do get the burn, which is lovely. Now he does have Recover, which is unfortunate. Um, I don't appreciate Recover at all. Now I'm not invested in defense at all. So we're going to see how, how much the Sable is going to do. He's going to go for a Calm Mind again. Now he has no reason not to go for a Recover here. In fact, I almost guarantee he's going to go for a recover here. I almost guarantee a recover. So it will be shocking if he doesn't go for it. I'm going to go for a Scald again because I have no reason not to go for a Scald. Can I get a crit or something? That would be appreciated. No, I don't, unfortunately. He's going to go ahead and recover. So he called mine twice, if I'm not mistaken. He did go for call mine two times. Is this going to turn out into a stall fight? Because if it is, I'm just going to go out into Heracross and pretty much just wreck this guy. Because I don't consider this fun. Stall is not fun. Alright, I'm going to go out into uh, Heracross. And, uh... I mean, knockoff is pretty... Actually, knockoff wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go out into Heracross regardless. I'll go for a Mega Horn. Or maybe, no, yeah, Mega Horn's the only thing I can go out into because uh, close combat really wouldn't affect them. This is stupid. I don't like playing these games. Stall is one of the worst playstyles, in my opinion. Now, I'm not calling out any of you guys that like Stall uh, because, you know, to each their own, but Stall really isn't, isn't fun whatsoever. Stall, I don't appreciate. He's probably going to go out into Noi right now. I mean, it makes the most sense. Oh, he's not. Well, alright then. Will-O-Wisp? That's perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that, actually. I'm a Guts variant here across, so that's cool with me. I appreciate that Guts boost. Thank you, buddy. You're not going to go down, which is unfortunate. I'm going to go for a Megahorn, because, I mean, I have no reason not to go for a Megahorn here. Now, the one thing that will actually make me a little upset is if his, uh, his Noivern is Scarfed. That will make me pretty upset. I hope it isn't Scarfed. So now he knows that I'm Scarfed. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go out into Suicune here, predicting the, uh, the Draco Meteor. Now, I don't really mind if, uh, Suicune goes down because I have Rock Slide on Heracross. And, um, his Sableye is burned, so it's guaranteed to, to, to get knocked out when it comes back in. So I'm not too worried. Now, if he decides to forfeit here, that means that this thing is in Scarf. It's like Choice Specter or something. Maybe even potentially Sashed. I don't know if uh, Noivern are Sashed. That's something that I am, uh, I'm not in the know of. But I'm predicting him to go into Draco, or for Draco.
He is going to go for a Draco, and it's going to connect. Sadly, I'm not invested in any uh, defense, so I think Suicune is going to kick the can here. Okay, I managed to live one. And I'm going to pop my Citrus, which is amazing. I think that's actually going to come in very, very handy here. Because his special attack is down by two, and he can always switch out. But I don't really see that happening. He is. Okay. Now that definitely tells me that he's scarfed in some fashion. That tells me that he is scarfed in some fashion. Or choice in some fashion, I should say. He's either choice spexed or choice scarfed. Now I don't exactly know which one it is. Now he can go for it again. He can't go for Draco again, which I predict him to do. But he also runs the risk of lowering his special attack by two stages. He's gonna go for Air Slash, okay. So if he gets a flinch here, he wins. And he doesn't get the flinch, and I think that's pretty much GG from there. So he didn't want to risk the chance of lowering his special attack by two stages. So we managed to win the first battle. Now this uh this series is gonna comprise of two battles. If you guys want me to make it three battles, leave uh, leave that suggestion in the comments below. Again, I, I'm, I apologize if I stutter. Um, I'm not really comfortable talking in front of a microphone and showing my face at the same time. So it's gonna it's gonna take a little getting used to, and I do apologize for that. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, we did win the first battle, and that's always good. So we are uh, we are now one and zero under this new name of Path to Prestige. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this series and you want to see more of it, please make sure to support by liking the video. Liking the video. <laughs> Alright, so this guy is uh, 1503. We're 1514, I believe. Mega... Oh, this is... This is why I really didn't want to kind of have this series because this is the shit you always see. Two of the worst Pokemon in one team. Mega Kang and Talonflame. I'm not a fan. Never was a fan. All right, I'm gonna go for Seismitoad here because Seismitoad is seriously my only stop to Talonflame. Uh, something tells me that I have to run Aggron. This is, is this fun? Like is using, I'm not even gonna question it. Like using these teams, is that really fun? I mean, I know they're the best Pokemon in the game, but it's not fun. It just isn't fun. I know lots of people really don't like Smogan, but I like Smogan because people are going to crucify me crucify me for saying this, but I think Smogan really does a good job at keeping things balanced. Uh, even though there are some Pokemon that I sort of feel really don't need to be in the tier they're in. But, I mean, at least Smogan keeps it interesting. He's going to go for the fake out. It's super obvious. It's super obvious. This, this totally killed the series for me, seeing shit like this. <sighs> Seeing shit like this, man. I hate it. I hate it. Whatever. I signed up for this double ledge right off the bat. Oh my lord. That's gonna pack a punch. That is gonna pack a punch. But I'm gonna go for Stealth Rock because in case anything is Sash or in case he brought the Talon Flame, uh, I think it's gonna be essential for me to have for me to have uh, rocks up on the field. Now, I know for a fact that I'm going to get completely annihilated here because of the Pokemon that he has on his team. I don't agree with it, but whatever, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm totally cool with him going for Double Edge because that's just giving him more recoil. Now, did I bring Heracross? I really hope I brought Heracross. If I didn't, I'm going to be pretty upset. I brought Aggron instead. <sighs> Not really the wisest move on my part, I will admit. Not really the wisest move on my part. Because Heracross is Scarf, I've got a close combat. It's unfortunate. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, I'm just going to go for Skull Tier, because that's pretty much all I can do at this point. He probably brought... He probably brought Rotom. It's almost a guarantee that he brought Rotom. Can I get the burn? I do get the burn. Okay, so at least we have that going for us. 
Double Ledge isn't going to do diddly squat because of that burn. Eat it up, Suicune. Thank you. And you're going to get hit with Recoil, which is amazing. And the burn is going to put you down even more. And this Skull should do you in. Actually, I actually want to go for a uh, a Roar, but I don't want to take another... I don't want to take another Double Ledge. I'm just going to go on Sucker Punch, of course. I could have gone out and roared, actually. All right, we're going to put my Citrus. My Citrus. I can't speak correctly, you guys. Uh, which I don't mind, obviously. Citrus Berry is a thing. You're going to go down. Ah, I hate seeing Kangaskhan in Talonflame. Talonflame. I don't mind seeing Kangaskhan as much as I, see, I hate seeing Talonflame. Like, Talonflame, I can't stand to see. This is pretty much as OU as you can get, you guys. Garchomp. Aegislash. Cool. I'm just gonna keep going for Skull, honestly, because that's pretty much all I can do at this point. Can I get a burn? If I get a burn, that will be a godsend. Can I get a burn, please? Yes! Oh my lord. The hacks are on my side. I love this. Shadow Ball. Oh, he's a special variant. Okay. Okay, I see you, bro. Alright, I see you. Damn! Okay, he's a special set, so that kind of caught me off guard. Now, I was going to go and switch out into Aggron, but I mean, there really is no point now. Because I might actually need uh, Aggron in case he actually does bring the Talonflame. Which I hope he doesn't, obviously. I don't want that to happen. Shadow Sneak? You don't have Shadow Sneak, so this burn might actually kill you. That's not gonna kill it. Damn it! Shadow Ball. <sighs> it's not gonna kill, which is unfortunate. Fuck! I'm gonna start running Shadow Ball on Suicune. Because oddly enough, it gets it. <laughs> now, he's obviously gonna want to at least get some damage on this thing. If he has Talonflame, I'm pretty much screwed here. Do I outspeed? I don't think I outspeed. So I think the best play for him is just to go for a move. Because if he goes for a King Shoot. I mean, either way, he's. He's gonna. Uh, he's, his Edge Slash is gonna go down either way. So it really makes no sense. If you brought Pharaoh, that would be unfortunate because I can't really touch Pharaoh. And Pharaoh can just kill me with Leech Seed. He can uh, protect. He probably brought Garchomp. And if you brought Garchomp, that would be unfortunate because I, I can't really do anything to Garchomp. But let's be real here. He probably brought uh, Talonflame. He more than likely brought Talonflame. I kind of want to give this thing Rock Slide as opposed to Earthquake. There it is. The bane of my fucking existence. I really want damage on this thing, but I predict him to go for a roost. I'm gonna go for heavy slam. He's gonna go for a roost though, I think. Flare Blitz! So this heavy slam might actually kill because of the recoil. I think it might kill actually. I know it's resisted. Yes! It kills! I really don't know how we escape with that victory, you guys. But we just beat one of the most, like, overused teams that you will ever see. In terms of Smogin, that's as OU as you can get. And I will happily take that victory. I will more than gladly take that victory. That was a, uh... <laughs> that was a actual surprise. But anyways, you guys, that is going to wrap up the first episode of Road to Prestige. If you guys did enjoy the episode, uh, or the first episode, I don't know why I'm stuttering. I do apologize. I, I promise I'll get better as the series progresses. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the first episode of Path to Prestige, uh, please go ahead and show your support by liking this video. Let's see if we can get this video to 20 likes. That would be very appreciated. And of course, if you enjoyed this content or the video, uh, 
enough to subscribe then please do so because subscribing also helps out a ton but anyways you guys once again thank you so much for watching today's video and until next time stay awesome